Pooh's Halloween Parade. Happy Halloween, said the honeypot as it opened the door. In came a pirate, a rabbit with black and orange stripes, and a forest ranger in a big hat. The honeypot walked up to the ranger and said, Hello, my name is Pooh. Do I know you? Pooh, it's me, Rabbit. <laughs> oh, Rabbit, said Pooh. I didn't recognize you without your ears. No, I am Rabbit, cried the rabbit with the orange and black stripes. He laughed a tigger laugh. Can't be, said Rabbit. Rabbits do not have stripes. Just then, Owl walked in. He wore a black cape. There was a big sign on his belly. Welcome, Owl, said Pooh. What are you? The alphabet, of course, said Owl. Wait for us, said a nurse as she walked in the door. A small ghost followed her. Then a strange thing happened. A rock walked in by itself. It went to the back of the room and stood very still. Nobody noticed it. It's time for the parade, cried Roo. Not yet, said Pooh. Christopher Robin and Eeyore are not here yet. But then Pooh and his friends heard strange noises coming from the back of the room. They sounded like whistle, snort, whistle, snort. Everyone looked toward the back of the room. All they saw was a big rock. I never heard a rock go whistle snort before, said Pooh. The rock stopped going whistle snort and started going zzzz. Then it let out a loud rawr. Oh dear, yelled Pooh. Everyone ran to the front of the room. They huddled together, shaking with fear. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Ah! They all screamed and jumped straight into the air. The door opened and there stood a giant bat. Everyone hid under Pooh's table. Hi everybody, said the bat. It's me, Christopher Robin. Oh, Christopher Robin, said Pooh. Are we glad to see you? There's a big rock in the house, said Piglet. It's making scary noises, said Roo. Tiggers don't like scary noises, said Tigger. Christopher Robin looked over at the rock, but it had moved. Now it was in the darkest corner of the room and it was shaking and moaning. Christopher Robin crept toward the rock. Be, be careful, warned Piglet. Christopher Robin reached out to touch the rock. It was soft. This wasn't a rock. It was a blanket. Christopher Robin lifted the blanket and underneath it was Eeyore. I was taking a nap, said Eeyore, when I heard all these scary noises, so I hid in the corner. Christopher Robin started to laugh. Eeyore, he said, you were afraid of yourself. Oh my, said Eeyore, isn't that silly? Well, said Christopher Robin, now that no one is afraid anymore, let the Halloween parade begin. Everyone stepped outside, and as they marched through the hundred-acre wood, 
No one was afraid. Well, maybe just a little bit. Halloween Parade. Everyone is excited. Everyone is excited about the Halloween Parade. I will be a clown, says Bobby. I will be a princess, says Rita. I will be a fireman, says Danny. Where's little Max, says Bobby. Here I am, says Max. Hello, Max, says Rita. We did not see you. I am too little, says Max. For the Halloween parade, I will be big. What costume is big, says Danny. You will see, says Max. Everyone makes a costume. Bobby makes a clown nose. Rita makes a princess dress. Danny makes a fireman hat. Max makes a costume too, but no one knows what it is. It is time for the Halloween parade. Bobby is a funny clown. Rita is a pretty princess. Danny is a brave fireman. And Max is a big robot. Watch out, Max, says Danny. Help! says Max. I may not be big, Max says, but I can make a big mess. We like you just the way you are, says Rita. Happy Halloween! Halloween Parade! Everybody has a lot to do before Halloween, and so does Allie. A lot to do, a lot to do, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. A costume, a cape, a mask, trick or treat bags are important too. Everything is ready for Halloween. It's bedtime on the night before Halloween. It's hard to sleep. Then it's morning and it's Halloween. A lot to do, a lot to do, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. Hurry! Hurry! Hurry to school for the Halloween parade. See the ghosts. See the goblins. See the pumpkins. Where's Allie? Most original. Funniest. Ugliest. Most scary, prettiest. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Happy Halloween, the Halloween parade. Who is walking with you, Yoko? Dimity asked. This is Muriel, said Yoko. Muriel holds my hand when we get off the bus. I walk her to the play school room so that she is not afraid. She looks like the queen of the bugs, said Timothy. Muriel is a butterfly for Halloween, said Yoko. 
What are you going to be, Yoko? Timothy asked. A California roll, said Yoko. How about you? I am going to be spinach, said Timothy. Spinach is easy to be. Doris and her cousin Stumpy are going to be Smells Angels for Halloween, said Timothy. I thought Doris was going to be a fairy, said Yoko. Not anymore. Stumpy is making her ride with him, said Timothy. Ride what? asked Yoko. Stumpy has an almost real motorcycle. It makes a noise like a chainsaw, said Timothy. Chainsaw, said Muriel. Muriel does not like chainsaws, said Yoko. Timothy whispered, The Franks are going to be twin Frankensteins with real blood scars. Hurt, said Muriel. The Franks will not really be hurt, Muriel, said Yoko. They are just Franks and they will never be Frankensteins. I will see you later, Muriel, at the Halloween parade. At two o'clock in the afternoon, Mrs. Jenkins handed out pumpkin cookies and apple juice. The class sang the snack song. We love our snack, snack, snack. Won't give it back, back, back. We love to eat, eat, eat. Down to our feet, feet, feet. And after we're finished, finished, finished. We're clean and neat, neat, neat. Boys and girls, said Mrs. Jenkins, all the classes in Haltup School will be in the Halloween parade, but only one person can win the prize. I'm going to win, said Nora. No, me, said Grace. What do we say when our neighbor wins the prize, boys and girls? asked Miss Jenkins. Congratulations to you, shouted the class. That is right, said Miss Jenkins. Now line up and no running. Everyone ran to the coat room. Grace was a ballerina. Charles was a ghost. Nora was a princess. Fritz was a scientist. Timothy put on a brown bag with crepe paper spinach stapled all over. Yoko wrapped herself into a California roll. The Franks poured a bottle of fake blood on their heads. Doris's cousin Stumpy came to the door. Mrs. Jenkins, may I see Doris? he asked. We need to get ready for the parade. Yes, Stumpy, said Mrs. Jenkins. Doris followed Stumpy down the hall. She didn't look happy. Did you see that? asked Timothy. Yes, come on, said Yoko. Where to? asked Timothy. To Mr. Wagweed's science room, said Yoko. Why? asked Timothy. I have an idea, said Yoko. Nobody noticed that a California roll and a bunch of spinach sneaked down the hall. Nobody saw them enter the science room. Nobody heard them open Mr. Wagweed's secret drawer. The Halloween parade began in the cafeteria. It wound out the door into the playground. The fifth graders were very fancy. Oh, they'll win, whined Gracie. It's not fair. No one will look at my pretty costume. But the three judges did look at Grace's costume. Very nice, they said. Keep moving, boys and girls. Suddenly, there was a terrible noise. It was followed by a terrible smell of smoke. 
Stumpy, dressed in black leather with a road red helmet and lots of chains, zoomed into the playground on his make-believe motorcycle. Doris rode behind him, holding on tight. Dust swirled, smoke poured out, no one could hear. Around and around they went. All the play school children ran away. Stumpy parked under a tree. Oil leaked from the engine. We're the best. We want to win, yelled Stumpy. Doris held her ears. Yoko and Timothy found Muriel in the play schoolroom, hiding under her desk. She was too afraid of Stumpy to come out. Come with us, Muriel, said Timothy. We're going to give Stumpy the scare of the year. Nobody heard a California roll climb up the back side of the oak tree. No one noticed a bunch of spinach follow behind. Nobody saw a little butterfly disappear into the branches of the tree. We are going to announce the winner, boys and girls, said a voice on the loudspeaker. We're going to win! We're going to win! We're going to win, shouted Stumpy. Doris coughed. Suddenly, Stumpy jumped. Off came his chains. Off came his leather jacket and road red helmet. Stumpy disappeared around the back of the school. What happened to Stumpy? said Miss Jenkins. Dora shrugged her shoulders and then she smiled. Look, said Fritz, it's Mr. Wagweed's stuffed tarantula. No one ever figured out how the tarantula spun a web all the way down the tree to Stumpy's nose. It was a mystery. The Halloween prize was announced. It went to Muriel for her beautiful butterfly wings. And everybody sang, congratulations to you.